Hello friends, this video on menstruation part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learnt about perimeter, it's turn for area. So as I have discussed before that area is always about the total region that is enclosed by a closed figure. So when you think of the farm, the, when you put a boundary on the farm so that entire space which is included inside the farm that is the entire region which belongs to you for which you have put that boundary that entire region is called area and in that area you can do anything you can build a house you can uh, you can have a garden you can have uh, some uh, farming you, you can have anything that you want because that entire space which is enclosed within that uh, closed figure that is all yours so this entire region which is enclosed in the closed figure this region is termed as area so with this let's quickly summarize the concept of area and peri perimeter so when you look at this field now you can very easily tell me if i ask you that if you look at this particular stretch of field what which is the area and which is the perimeter so area would be the entire region which is enclosed by the boundary so this entire region would be the area and what about perimeter perimeter is nothing but the total boundary of this field so that total boundary would be the perimeter so please get this concept very very clear into your head that perimeter is the total length of the boundary and area is the total region inside that closed figure Okay, so now let's take some examples and try to see which has more area. So here you see two clouds, clouds like structure, which has more area? What do you think? So area is nothing but the yellow region, that is the total region enclosed inside. So obviously this has more area because it has more region enclosed inside it. Out of these two, which has more area? So area is this entire space enclosed inside. So obviously this has more area. You compare these two fishes, which has more area. Again, here it occupies more area, so this has more area. Now, sometimes you can even compare two different objects, but their areas might be bigger and smaller depending upon their dimensions. Okay, so let's try to calculate area now. How do we calculate areas? So here you see a cross and this cross is actually made up of smaller squares right so for now we have already found out the perimeter of the square that is something which we had done in our previous section so we had already done that so now it is a turn to calculate its area so area would actually mean this entire space enclosed by this cross so we have to find out this total area so how do we find it out now here we know the dimension of each square. Now let's assume that each of these square is of one square unit area. That is the area of each square is one square unit, either one meter square or one centimeter square. So that's the area of each small square. Now when you look at this cross, how many small squares are there inside the square, inside this cross? One, one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So there are 9 small squares inside this cross. So basically we need to find out the area of the 9 small squares. So therefore what would be the area of this cross? The area of the cross would be the area of the 9 small squares. And let's assume that the area of each square is one square unit one square unit means it could be one centimeter square or one meter square whatever so therefore the area of the cross would be how much nine multiplied by the area of each small square nine into area of the small square and area of the small square is one square unit so the area of the cross would be nine square units so in that fashion, we could find out the area of the cross. Now let's look at the second image. Here also we have a cross, but it's slightly of different size. So here, how many small squares are inside the cross? One, two, three, four, and five. Only five squares. So therefore, in this case, the area of the cross would be five square units. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.